I ended up picking up more so I have so many books there sometimes I get a little overwhelmed but I seen this and I was like oh man I know that's old for sure I'll see that one for a minute I could not believe that I found this Agatha Christie book and an older one okay it was so for books there was a sign that said paperbacks were a certain price and hardbacks were a certain price. And I know the thrift store just revamped their whole everything. <laughs> so I don't know if they charged me $8 or like the dollar, $2 it was. And that's more so just because I got quite a bit. But, um... 1950s copy. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to read this though. Kind of a nice color too. Sweater. The next one I ended up getting was purely because I've been to Rome. And honestly, I miss it every single day. Um, just traveling and adventuring. So, it'd be kind of fun just to read the next. Oh yes, and, and that was really nice. I was looking earlier to see where I've been, and I guess I never really looked like it mapped like this. Just to, I don't know, see where I was. I have gone to the Vatican City. That was cool. Um, and I'm not. Oh, I believe we did go to the Jewish ghetto. No, it was just kind of hard. We did go to the Coliseum. Yeah. There was more. I just, I need to figure it out. Oh, we did go to the... Okay, kidding. <laughs> um, is it Trevive? Treve Mountain? And... Um, I believe that's the fountain that if you throw a coin in, you'll return to Rome. And they were under construction when I was there, so I don't know what that means. But I am coming back. This one caught my eye because, oh my gosh, the color is phenomenal. I mean, it's kind of crazy. But then, yeah, it's a Renoir. So, I got a, oh, I don't even know if I got that. Um, <clears throat> I have to, um, kind of look through this because, uh, it is quite interesting. Yeah. An intimate record. Um, that is crazy. Okay. Oh, I I skipped something. Oh, yeah. And it's from 1934. Oh my god, and there's pictures in here. I did not know there was going to be pictures of all of them. Oh, that one's so cool. Oh, I love drawing. This is going to be way too good. What else? Okay, so this one, I literally, I, I told you earlier, but I've been
barely seen like that speckled edge. And I was like, okay, I know these are kind of old. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it was for exactly because sometimes you find like cookbooks for small companies or big companies even, but tons of party plans. And I thought it was kind of funny because I do have a friend that is getting married. And I did the kind of look in here. It's kind of silly. But this is blue and something old. It is from the 70s, I believe. Oh, right it's not a really great picture, though. <laughs> yeah, some of them are not really, um, I don't know. There's some things that are very pointed. Towards women. Mm -hmm. Cat just does what she wants. Um, this one I just, I thought it was really neat, and I actually, I have a collection, I don't believe this is that old. No, but if I only paid hardback cover price, which I, I don't think it was more than three, maybe, I don't know. I have a $25 book, and it looks like one of those shelf sitters that are nice and cute, and you buy them, and then you never read them. Oh, trust me, I got lots of those. Oh my god, I didn't even open it up. I just, I knew instantly I wanted it. It's gonna be fun. But, okay, so like I was saying, I do have a collection of, um, older storybooks. And, see, I know this one's not that old. Um... Twenty fourteen, so oh man. not old, but not as old as my other ones. My other ones are from like I'll show you the great. Uh these are my little children's books that I like that's old. Oh, and then this amazing Anna Karenina book. I kinda just really like to highlight it, so that's out here too. And um Sometimes, like, my nieces will come over and play with stuff, and so I would like to have old stuff. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, little finger puppets. And there's some silly stuff. I love this guy. It's actually, like, a nice Christmas ornament, but I've kept him out for years. And I'll keep him out all year. And I just really love the combination of these. I still cannot believe this fan occurred and I find. I don't know if I can get it back. Anyway, that's all the books I bought. The last time I went to this store, the last time I went to this <clears throat> thrift store, I actually found a lot of cool um, Paris books. And see, I, because I've traveled and I've been to. Italy, France, and many, many, many other countries, but I just love reading books and stories about that. But I ended up finding, and the only reason I even thought of it was kind of funny, <clears throat> another kind of traveling book, was um this Paris book, I believe. I ended up getting at the same thrift store. Um, yes. Oh my god, yes. And it's actually signed. And it's a little bit older. And I forgot the cat on the cover. That's really great. Yes, I have not read it yet, sadly. I have a shelf full of not reds, but a lot of reds too. But it's on my list to read. The ever-growing. <laughs> 
list. I wish there was a year on this. Now, I'm not for sure, but to me, the box itself seems older than these. I don't know. I can't even say. This is definitely older. That's what I wonder if I really say. Okay, I was gonna say 80s or 90s. And 1994. Where the box is from? Made in China. So that would coincide with the 90s. Oh my god, these look so old. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> these will actually even work anymore. I would be very shocked. But. <clears throat> nice glove. Um. I mean, obviously, like, you could still use all these, right? Like, gauze, cotton. But, I might, oh, I organize this better and potentially put in my own items. Er, I was about to go put these two items away, and I realized there's a wall hook on the back. And I was not planning on hanging this on the wall, but... May at some point. Now, I do need to rearrange this a little bit, but these are kind of some of my odds and ends in the bathroom area. Um, I try to do a barbershop theme, and so I actually picked this lighter up on Etsy, and I love the colors. And I don't believe it works. Well, I mean, you probably would have to fill it up, but. little juice in there. That still seems pretty, um, you could use it. I, I believe. I don't know. I don't mess around with stuff like this. So, Japan. 40s, 50s. This is kind of neat. It, um, it's more sentimental is why it's here than anything, but I got a ton, like, 12 industrial garbage bags full of vintage clothes for free, and these are in the pocket of one of them. So I just kind of, it was in a raincoat. I remember exactly what one it's in, and I have the raincoat, but I keep it here. This is uh, apparently for like a bathtub plug. I guess, I don't know what it signifies. Hey, yeah, that's kind of cute. One less thing off. Um, this bottle, it doesn't really look like it, unless you can read it right here. It's a Listerine one. Uh, yeah. Listerine. This one is, uh, what is it called? Is it Vitalis? Vitalis? Not even sure. For some reason, I feel like I remember Elvis used to use it a lot. Um, for hair. But I ended up finding this uh, in my, sorry, my fingers are kind of dirty from something. Um, my hometown lived very far out in the woods, and there was like a, back in the day, you know, where you just make a pile of garbage, and it was like kind of full of bottles and stuff, and so every now and then I'd sip through it, and I thought the words were kind of neat, didn't really realize what it was, and now it works for decor. This I actually want to fill with matches. I love the wood. And again, I'll probably redo this because I really like having 
this just for toilet paper, but I like having these clippers because they actually do work. But I like having these up here. Which actually, maybe I'll start doing something with them on the wall. Could be fun. It could be a lot of fun. Maybe, maybe. I do want to hang this up on the wall. I'm not for sure how old it is. Um, 50s, 60s, maybe? Paid $4 at it for it at the antique mall I work at. <clears throat> and, I don't know. It's obviously something on the back I can see now. Don't know what. And it is nicely sealed and in like a hard case. So I honestly probably might not mess with it. But I do want to hang him up on the wall somewhere. I got lots of plans in this bathroom. It's not. But much. I have records on this in, which is kind of fun. Um, I've only had a few of them fall down, hence why there's a hole there. Um, and they do break. I tend to. I don't know. I, I have so many of these. That's why they start going up on the ceiling. <laughs>